welcome to the third video about value stream mapping. In the first two videos, we gave an introduction to value stream mapping. We discussed what a value stream and value stream mapping is, when and why you should use value stream mapping, which step you should go through when making a value stream map for a current and a future state, and which icons you should use. In this video, we will discuss the use of value stream mapping in a high mix, low volume environment. Through the video, we will discuss the differences between value stream mapping, some strategies and a specific symbol that can be used for value stream mapping in high mix, low volume environments. But first, to repeat, with value stream mapping, you are mapping the flow from raw material to the customer including all value and non-value added processes. Mapping this flow highlights many improvement opportunities. Value stream mapping is originally set up for high and medium volume environments. However, what should you map if the organization operates in a low volume environment? Mapping a product that is not made very often may sound illogical. It is difficult to start value stream mapping too early because the non-value at a time varies considerably depending on the current lead time, workload, capacity, etc. Therefore, it is better to begin by putting in day-by-day -day hour and first-in, first-out boards that will help control this and better quantify it. Nevertheless, Value stream mapping can certainly be applied in high mix, low volume areas. Greg Lane recommended a couple of strategies that can be used for value stream mapping in low volume departments or businesses. You need to decide on what you are going to base your value stream map. For example, first of all, you could do this based on product families. Product families are more important to determine in low volume environments than within high volume environments. The value stream should be based on these product families. Then you could also base your value stream map on high running parts. So which parts or products go through production most often? Or said differently, high volume parts in the low volume environment. You could also complete a general value stream map for the basic processes you have and then complete a few total product cycle timelines for some of the higher volume parts. Or you could create individual value stream maps for each high value part number. These are the runners. In this case, we assume that each runner follows a different path or uses different materials. Then finally, you could create individual maps for critical components or sub-assemblies. When you start drawing the current state of the value stream map, there is a specific symbol that can be used for low volume environments. It is the symbol for shared processes, you see over here. This symbol is especially useful for low volume operations since you often have a process or machine that is shared among different products. When this is the case, it helps to show the percentage of capacity utilized by the value stream that you are mapping, as well as the total current percentage of the process or machine is utilized by all products. These data clarifies if it is a bottleneck process or machine. For example, imagine when the total utilization is 90% and the process or machine is utilized by many different products or value streams. This results in many challenges such as planning and control. Therefore, visual management as shared processes and machines is critical to understand its status. Now we go to future state mapping for high mix low volume environments. Here you see the future state map that is given in the book of Greg Lane. You see a high volume part number in a low volume plant. We won't go through this example in detail, therefore you should look into the book. But there are some things that are worth mentioning. First, 
When you start mapping the future state of value streams in high mix, low volume environments, it is important to focus on the basic differences between high volume and low volume environments, such as shared processes, partly utilized processes, varying type of orders, size of orders, the inability to calculate and plan based on talk time, and so on. A couple of suggestions for a future state map in high mix low volume environments are to put in pool systems wherever possible, then focusing on expensive inventories. Besides, organizations should work with customers that want to change their large quantity orders into smaller orders and therefore split delivery days. Because this will help you to work closer to one piece flow. And finally, focus on long changeover times, since this might happen more often in a high mix low volume environment. But these are only three suggestions, and of course there are more. However, it is not possible to clarify all the differences between high volume and low volume environments we just discussed by making use of value stream mapping. So again, before you start using VSM, in high volume as well as in low volume environments, it should be clear that it will help you to solve your organizational problem. What do we see more in this picture? You see that inventory measurements are changed into a currency. We discuss them now in the future state map, but of course you should do this in the current state map as well. But why? This helps that improvement processes are not only based on the flow with the longest total product cycle time, but also with regard to where the biggest potential savings are. Finally, you see that pool systems and supermarkets are planned to reduce the time, materials, weight in inventory. However, in contrast to high volume environments, for low volume parts, you still would use push in the first step and then create flow by making use of pull. In this example, this thick arrow indicates this push. This was the end of this video about value stream mapping in high mix, low volume environments. We discussed the differences, some strategies, a new symbol and some suggestions for future state value stream mapping. Remember, always determine beforehand if VSM is the mapping tool that helps you to solve the organizational problem. Thank you.